Hi, I'm Stephanie DeTroya, a Senior Genomic Analyst at the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard. This video will provide an overview of how to visualize CRAM alignments in Seeker through a browser version of IGV. A good way to increase your confidence in a variant called an exome or genome sequencing data is to visualize the reads aligning to that region. In Seeker, this requires that CRAM files be stored in Anvil. By clicking on Show Reads, you can enable IGV directly in the browser. Here, the available samples will load with data centered on the variant of interest. From top to bottom, this view contains genomic coordinates, a horizontal chromosome with the red marker to identify the region in view, and a reference genome track colored by base. Directly underneath the colored reference is the sample data starting with the proband sample. The first gray histogram indicates sample coverage with a depth scale on the left. Gray bars below each sample show individual reads aligning to this region in the reference sequence. The final track at the bottom of the IGV display shows the gen code and RefSeq transcripts to orient you where in the exon the variant occurs. Similar to the colored bars in the reference genome, the colored bars in the sample data correspond to calls that differ from the reference. Color ratios in the coverage tracks correspond to the allele balance of the call. In this example, the reference base is orange, guanine, and the alternative call is green, adenine. For more information, you can click on the colored variant in the coverage track. You see here that 43% of calls are adenine, with six in the positive strand and seven in the negative strand. To better visualize this, you can color reads by read strand and adjust the track height. You can also click on individual reads for detailed quality metrics, including mapping quality and mate location. In addition to a near 50-50 split for a heterozygous call and supporting reads in both forward and reverse strands, you also want to confirm that supporting reads are well aligned to the reference, indicated by gray coloring. Poorly aligned reads will be multicolored, like this clipped read here, and non-uniquely aligned reads will be clear. Next, I'd like to show an example with clipped reads in a pattern that can indicate a structural variant. Clipped reads can be identified by several multicolored bars or bases in a row, as shown here, and indicates a sequence that fully differs from the reference. Here you see that all clipped reads start in the same location and have a very distinct color banding. You can zoom in by clicking the plus at the top right of the IBG option menu to identify the sequence of the misaligned clipped reads. Inversely, it may be useful to zoom out and view reads across exons. In this view, you can turn on View as Pairs and Color by First Pair of Strand in the option menu to identify patterns in the sequencing data. If the amount of clips reads in your view are distracting you, you can turn off this feature in the Sample Options menu, but we generally leave them on as it can be helpful hint that there is a deletion or other structural variance nearby. In this example, the clipped reads are marking the breakpoints of an intragenic deletion in the FBN1 gene. Another example where IGV can be very useful is for phasing of nearby variants. For this example, biallelic variants in TPMT cause poor metabolism of thiopurines. However, you can see by IGV that the two rare missense variants found in this proband are in fact on the same allele. Because of the paired read sequencing, two ends of a read may span variants that can be up to 500 base pairs of each other. Additionally, IGV can be helpful in confirming de novo status. In this example, the frameshift variant is called de novo in the proband, but in IGV, you can see clear support for the frameshift in the paternal sample. You should always check the parental data for reads supporting a de novo variant, regardless if they have the call or not. Lastly, you should always check for indication of a more complex event by changing view options to color by fragment length or pair orientation. 
These colors can give important clues to the event you are seeing. More on interpreting these colors and other IGB options can be found on the IGB website. And that's the end for this Read Visualization Seeker tutorial. Thank you for watching.